Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out RV Daydream, and it is another day. Uh, you've seen by my last video I had a lot of projects, and I'm still in the middle of all those. I'm just trying to get a game plan in mind, because quite honestly I don't know what I'm going to do today. Uh, the first thing I do know for sure is i got to get the flagpole strung up. Um, it's just standing out there without any uh, rope or flag on it, so I think it's cured enough I can uh, at least do that. Uh, other than that, I don't really have any plans, but we'll see how today turns out. Um, I do want to tell you about some exciting news that Heidi and I have as far as going on a trip. And uh, I'll bring that to you in just a little bit here. I've been riding on a daydream. You see, it's a pretty darn nice day out today. It's going to be kind of overcast like it is, but it's relatively warm. Uh, the dew points aren't real high, but it's uh, it's a nice day. It's not too bad. A little bit of a breeze. Um, short and t-shirt weather, that's all I'm concerned about. As long as I don't have to wear a jacket or long pants, that's good. So I'll enjoy the day as long as it's warm. Alright, so just like yesterday, or the day before yesterday, or all of those days, uh, plans change and they change really fast. So you guys that have been following us for a little while, uh, realize or have heard that we were looking to get a new refrigerator for our camper. Well, Norcold, because they don't have this repair kit uh, to repair our old refrigerator, the one that we bought to go into that camper, they, they gave us a new unit, which at, on surface level seems awesome. Norcold, when they sent that new one, they will only allow the new one to be installed at an RV dealer that's certified uh, as a dealer I guess even though the guy that's probably going to install my refrigerator is no more capable than I am as far as doing repairs on an RV um, and not to put down any RV technicians um, I've had the ability or the potential to be hired at an RV dealership before I was actually offered a job at an RV dealership before it's just something that I don't want to do but even though I say I'm capable enough to do it apparently you've got to be in the shop with a tax ID that matches for legal reasons because Norcold's getting their ass sued for all these other fires that they've caused on other units uh, besides mine. So, I mean, there's a, whenever you're looking at Facebook and all of a sudden you get a pop up that says that Norcold's got a, a settlement and a lawsuit going on and do you want to join in, you know that they have issues. So, I don't really blame Norcold. They're trying to cover their butts as much as possible and they are giving me a brand new unit. However, I have to have that dealer install it. So he was going to install it, but he just called me and told me, hey, the cabinet is an inch and three eighths too short. So what he means is the opening's too small by an inch and three eighths. Now, he talked about writing up a quote and letting me know how much it would cost and everything else to make the modifications needed for the refrigerator to move in there. I asked him if he could just take the unit out of his work area, his workshop, and I'll be up, I'll pick it up, I'm going to bring it home, I'll modify the cabinet opening to the sizes he needs, and then I will bring it back up and let him install it at that point. Because I just can't afford it. I mean, it's, it's crazy. And... It's one of those things you have to do. So that's my plan change. That's what I'm doing. I got to hurry up and put on my receiver, um, run up there, pick up the camper, bring it home, disconnect it, take my daughter to work, and then come back, work on the camper, and then take it back up to the RV dealer and drop it off in the parking lot for it to sit maybe a few more days before they have a chance to get back at it again. You know, what are you going to do? But ultimately, the positive side to look at on this is. I basically spend $300 and all this running around that I'm doing and this extra work for a $1,200 unit uh, to be installed on my camper and we're going to have a brand new refrigerator so God forbid if this uh, thing has any flaws or any faults because I will definitely be all over either the dealer if it's a install problem or Norcold if it's a unit problem uh, telling them what I had to go through <laughs> just to make sure this thing can go in my camper. Alright guys, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm hopping in my truck and I'll pick it up later. So I'm all hooked up and uh, they're going to close at 5 today. I don't think I'm going to get it done by today. There's a little bit of work to be done in there. They're open until maybe 2 or 3 tomorrow, so I might be able to drop it off then. So let's get back to the house and start working on this thing and I'll show you what I'm doing. See what I mean about 
always something. I smell gas and it's like, what? I'm dripping gas there, so I gotta figure out why that's going on. Let's look. All right, I see what the deal is. It's the filler neck, and it's because the gas tank is full. I mean, it's topped off. The filler neck shouldn't be leaking, but it is, so I'll have to look at that. So you can see I'm kind of in the middle of this. Uh, I didn't want to document everything because it'd be pretty boring, but um, basically I took the shelf out, and um, now what I'm doing, you can see there's the framework back there. Uh, there's the door. I'm actually just clearing everything out to make it the right height to raise that pots and pan shelf to where it's taller and that way uh, we can still use it now as far as up top here I'm just gonna move the door up higher you can see where the hinges are I'm gonna just try to go up higher with it maybe I'll trim some of this to give us back some of the height for the pans to go in um, but I do like the support that this big board is offering we'll have to see how that works out and uh, well Maybe I can get this done relatively quick because I'd like to drop this back off at the dealers tomorrow, Saturday. Uh, they're open until I think 3 o'clock. So we'll uh, try to knock this out and gosh darn it, I'm going to have to take a break here in a second because i got to take my daughter to work. Like I say, it's always something. Alright, what a disastrous mess. <laughs> so I'm going to have to clean all this up real quick, put everything away. And uh, this isn't pretty, but it's going to get the job done. Now, the refrigerator, the flange, will cover this up. So you won't see these holes or the way this is because it's been like that for a while. But as far as the width making it wider, you just had to take out one of these pieces. If I needed a little wider, I could have taken out both pieces. And then I had to put in a little section there because I raised this up. And then uh, there. And I had to notch this, which eventually what I think I'm going to do is go ahead and cut all the way across here uh, to give a little bit of height, more height, for the stuff that's going in there. Um, and then I just reattached the doors, but yeah, this was a, a faux pas on my part I could have made this darn near perfect if I didn't screw up that gap But I can actually get a piece of trim belt trim something like uh, this here And uh, put that in there and it would take care of it. It'll, it'll make it look pretty decent, but um, it's gonna get the job done and now we have uh, An inch and three ace more what a pain in the butt. You can see where the old shelf was uh, It was right to here um, all the way around and of course, that's not the case anymore. <laughs> wow. Okay, so I got to clean all this up, and I'm going to take this back out to the dealer today. Um, sure, why not? So it's all cleaned up and swept up, and the pots and pans fit back up in there, which is good. And now all I got to do is uh, take this back to the dealer, uh, put that cover on, and hook up. So let's go. We're back at the dealer, and I dropped it off, and it's just before 5 o'clock, so... They'll have this for tomorrow if they want to work on it. Wow, that was a lot of work. Uh, just sidetracked. I want to make sure I did a pretty decent job inside. And I, basically, the main thing I want to do is do it to the point where they didn't have anything else that they could possibly charge me for. Um, so I did some sealant work that was needed with some foil tape to make sure that none of the exhaust could possibly get back into the uh, living quarters. So I think I got it covered. Now back to the house, and I don't even know if I'm going to get anything done today yet. Uh, the garage is a disaster since I did all that work on the camper today, and uh, I still have projects that I need to do. So I'm going to uh, restring the flagpole and uh, maybe try to clean up. Well, old glory flies again. I had to modify the lower mount, and I still have to do a little bit more work on it because it's just kind of, uh, I don't know, rigged up there, sort of. I have slackened on making that the way it should be. As you can tell, it's definitely getting darker outside. I'm not going to be able to clean this table up and uh, straighten this rim and put my turn signals in and put the CB antenna in and mount my CB. I haven't been able to really get to where I could do any of that stuff. All right, so what I alluded to earlier was us going to go on a trip. Right now, it is scheduled for us to head down to Kentucky and check out Dale Hollow. Uh, Heidi has been there a couple times. I've never been there. Um, she's always brought back pictures and it looks really nice. So we're going to uh, head that way and uh, that'll be a longer trip for us. Uh, I do have some issues with the truck though that showed themselves today 
uh, whenever I was towing and I'm not exactly sure what's going on but something I think has come loose in the rear end of the truck I don't know what that is and I'm talking about something on the suspension because the truck today you can see the way the flag was blowing uh, the wind really made this thing move around today uh, with that trailer on the back it acted worse than I've ever had that trailer being towed and that's including with the F-150 and that F-150 was uh, overloaded so I've got more sway with this truck right now as it stands than I did with that F-150 and that is not good there is something definitely loose on the back end I'm gonna have to get underneath there and do a lot of research myself because I don't know if I'm gonna be able to take it to a garage and have anybody find anything that uh, is just going to jump out at them because I've been underneath I've looked and I just don't see anything so I'm going to go through and really check all the components like I've mentioned in previous videos I know the sway bar bushings are, have wear to them but they're not to the point of being uh, useless they are doing the job uh, I just don't know what's going on the last time I had this kind of a feeling on a vehicle was when my F-150 was in an accident and the rear end housing was bent and I didn't know it and the first winter day that we had the truck skated around well this truck acts a lot like that whenever I'm towing once I dropped off the camper for the second time at the dealer there I left and I took a road that was pretty barren and uh, had uh, two lanes in one direction and at 60 miles an hour I did hard swerves to the left and to the right and it seemed like that whenever I was turning back to the right after swerving hard to the left that the rear end was kind of diving so I've got to see what that is I hope that it's something easy I can't find any breaks in the frame or any cracks in the frame or twist in the frame I don't see anything going on with the leaf spring mounts um, I've just got to go through it and look at the whole thing so something to look forward to again though that big trip that's coming up that's gonna be a lot of fun of course you guys get to come along with us but that's not gonna be for oh, a couple weeks I'm sure well guys that's it for today for sure and as always I hope to see you out there bye